You can find the Whitney name all over the city of Rockland. It's on roads, businesses, street signs, parks, schools. Diego Liebman just graduated from Whitney High School. He wrote a term paper on Joelle Parker Whitney after going to an event at the Rockland Historical Society. I'm doing my research, uh, looking at his memoirs, a lot of anti-Chinese sentiments. According to the Rockland Historical Society, a nonprofit group of volunteers documenting the city's history, Joelle Parker Whitney moved to Northern California in the mid 1800s. Whitney bought thousands of acres of land, building the Spring Valley Ranch. Joelle Parker Whitney had a lot of Chinese laborers on his ranch after the expulsion and uh, kind of like safeguarded them. Liebman started an online petition last week. He says the school district needs to include that history in its curriculum. He also wants a building on the Whitney campus to be named after a Chinese American. I think it's important just to balance it out, but uh, in the end, that's purely symbolic. Um, and we want to focus more on the substantive changes of making the adjustments to the curriculum. A spokesperson for Rockland Unified Schools says last year, the district adopted a new history social science curriculum aimed at being more accurate and inclusive of historically misrepresented groups. In a statement saying in part, quote, as our nation grapples with these important issues surrounding equity, we recognize that schools and school districts are reflections of our communities and must also focus on these issues. Diego Liebman says it's time for more change. This is really not about, you know, cancel culture or erasing history or anything. This is just uh, entirely about broadening the scope of history and making sure that it accurately portrays people's humanity, talks about their experiences too and their perspectives. In Rockland, Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.